One sec. Hey everybody, you know that, um, uh, that Casey Neistat video where he comes into frame and he's like, Hillary Clinton, I will be voting for Hillary Clinton, you know? Um, and it came out in, what, like, I guess November of 2016? I guess, you know, so, because the election was happening and then Trump won. And it's, 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 you know, it's really interesting. Um, I just got out of the shower and when I um, am not going outside after I shower, like in the period between the time I shower and my next shower, if I'm not going to be going outside, I just don't do my hair because it's bad for my hair to do my hair. Um, so, you know, if I'm not going to be going outside, I do it. Um, so it looks like this right now. Um, and it looks particularly weird when it's wet because it's like kind of not curly like it normally is and oh no i'm getting like a weird like patch of like skin you can see it here in, in the middle of my oh, that looks so weird <sighs> fine okay um uh yeah so i'm doing that there's a i voted sticker on my bed back there and kamala harris i will be voting for kamala harris like in casey neistat um, I don't know. It's really interesting, right? Uh, you know, um, when I was born, George W. Bush was president, um, which is weird to think about because I only remember Obama, um, which makes sense considering I was born in 2005 and then it was 06, 07, 08, and then Obama was elected. So, you know, I, I remember being three, but I don't really remember thinking about the presidency. Um, I only really ever started thinking about the presidency in like, 2015 when the when the next election came up um because i i remember like like i don't know like I, I wasn't super interested in the 2012 election um and then 2016 happened and obviously you know that was a very uh newsworthy election for for obvious reasons and uh then is when i kind of got into it um which is weird because 2016 i was 11 i guess at the time and i remember um uh i was in fifth grade and it was really weird uh, you know um I feel like U.S. presidential elections are, like, particularly weird in America. Like, you know, um, say what you will, but America is sort of the most important country in the world and the largest economy in the world. Um, and the presidential election sort of has uh, ripple effects throughout the world, you know? Um, but it's weird when you're in America because it kind of feels like, like when you get to this time of year, everybody's kind of holding their breath, you know? Um, and, you know, they started talking about this year's election, like, last year, you know, because you kind of start talking about it, like, um, near the beginning of the election year, you start talking about it, and throughout the year, it's like, oh, what's going to happen? Um, and it's just weird, and it's sort of a, like, it's, it's very, like, um, you know, it's so, like, the future's so unknown that you don't know how your life is going to change over the next four years. And, you know, obviously you're going to be able to see this in four years. I'm going to be a way different person, most likely, right? Because I'm pretty young. Um, and that's just what happens, you know, throughout your life when you're, when you're a young person. Um, I'm sorry, my hair looks so stupid. I can't take myself seriously. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm going to be a very different person in four years. And uh, it's just weird because, um, you know, like, I don't know, it's it's very freaky, you know, it's very freaky that, uh, you know, uh, like, what's going on, and especially considering, like, you know, I don't like Donald Trump, which makes sense, I, it's statistically likely, you know, I, I live in Seattle, a very blue city, um, in Washington, a very blue state, primarily because of Seattle, and western Washington, broadly, um, you go to eastern Washington, it's kind of politically very similar to Idaho, like, you know, um, and, uh, you know, my parents are Democrats, so, you know, it just kind of makes sense that I'm a, I, I'm, I'm pretty left-wing, I'm like a progressive, you know, um, and it's just, so, and so, of course, I'm biased when I'm saying this, but it's crazy how, uh, like, Donald Trump has just done so many crimes, uh, and has been convicted of so many things, and has just been found guilty of, like, just, so, like, uh, like, paying off Stormy Daniels, and, uh, what else? Lying about his business records for the Trump Organization, or, um, having all of those, uh, classified documents in, in his house, um, after he got out of the presidency, which, 
uh, is kind of common for uh, public officials, but the amount that Donald Trump had and the amount of time that he held onto them and like the, the almost cartoonish audio recordings of him talking to people and being like, oh, these are classified paper. I'm not supposed to have these. And then he's like ruffling paper. Like it's so, it's just so crazy, right? Like it, it um, if, if what is happening and what has been happening in the news related to Donald Trump was happening in like a movie, like sort of a weird movie about the presidential election, uh, people would say it's a bad movie because it's so unrealistic and like why would this ever happen? But it's crazy because it's happening now. And it's just so, it's just, it's really strange. Um, and I don't know, uh, people are under the impression that the economy is doing very badly. Uh, people broadly feel like the economy is doing badly. Um, but you know, you look at uh, like, um, like job growth and you look how the Federal Reserve is really bringing down uh, the rate at which inflation is increasing. And um, you know, you look at the stock market um, and you think, look, look at all these factors and everything looks fine. Um, and you know, I'm not, I'm not an economist and you do look at like, uh, like people are really increasing on like, uh, defaults on loans and like people are using credit cards more than they ever have. And people are dipping into their retirement accounts more than they ever have. So I actually don't know how the economy is doing. Um, we're in a very weird, like, like, I don't know, like we've never been four years after a, after a worldwide pandemic, like things are just weird in the economy. And of course, you know, inflation was pretty bad for a while because, of the stimulus they had to uh, put into the economy to keep the government going, or to keep the like economy going, you know. But anyway, um, and also a lot of the stock market growth is through uh, just like it's a very bubbly time in tech right now with all this AI stuff, and you know. But you know, anyway, like things are going very okay, and it's just strange because. Um, everybody's so crazy polarized and I'm crazy polarized, right? Um, you know, I bet if I interact with, uh, like I'm sure a majority of, uh, like Republicans in America aren't like the crazy cult of personality, like Trump people that you see like behind him at his rallies. Like the, the, the type of people who are a majority of the people who are voting for Donald Trump are probably not the type of people to go to a Trump rally. Um, but I don't know. I don't really, I don't think I know anyone who's voting for Donald Trump. Um, and if I do, I wouldn't know because they're normal people, right? Um, and I feel like a lot of the people who are voting for Donald Trump are just like low, like they call them uh, like low information voters. And it's just because they aren't that informed um, and they don't like realize the extent to which they're voting for like just a criminal. And it's just so crazy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just interesting. Um, nothing else is really going on today. I worked today. I woke up at 4.40 a.m. and I came into work. Um, I worked at, I, I, I have two jobs right now, so over, on weekends I work at the sandwich shop, which I used to, which I used to work at. Um, and on Thursdays I work at this, um, like, engineering firm that my mom works for, and I just help out in the model lab that we have, where we build, like, models of, like, hydrologic models. Hydrological models? I, I, that's wrong. Like, water models, like dams and, and, and and like things like like flumes and rivers you know we, we build models of stuff like that and you know t today went okay at work um it's actually just been very strange the reason why i'm talking so much and so extensively is because my parents are home and i don't really have to worry about like my parents pausing their show and then like going to the like my one of them has to go to the bathroom and the bathroom's like just over there like behind that wall is the bathroom and so you know so one person is using the bathroom and then like one of my parents is like talking through the door at them because they're having a conversation because their show was paused um and it's just like so it's so loud like it's not actually that loud and they're talking at a pretty normal volume like they're talking at the volume i'm talking which it you know i talk kind of loud but like you don't like i have a thing where i can't really like i don't really think about the volume of my speech very often and so it's it's just like you know that sort of thing you know uh but Anyway, so, you know, my parents are, are, are talking and it's so loud and I have to deal with the background noise and obviously they don't want whatever conversation that, like, they're not having crazy conversations, but just naturally people don't want to have their conversations, like, uploaded publicly onto YouTube, right? So I have to be careful of that. So whenever my parents are home and I have to record my video, I, I usually wait until, like, they're outside or, like, you know, they're they're in the middle of watching their show and, you know, the, you know, the show is public, you know, you, you can watch the show if you, like, it's not as if the show is private, you know. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm sorry for the background noise. And the background noise is annoying, uh, but it's not as, it just sucks. Cause when, like, I feel like when I live on my own, don't 
quote me on this because I this might not be true because when I live on my own I, I'm I'll probably gonna be a lot busier you know but um, when I live on my own I could imagine my videos probably be being a lot longer because I won't have to deal with as much background noise uh, relating to people in my life you know uh, like you know but anyway uh, yeah so work went okay um, I came home and I like wanted to shower, uh, but before that, uh, before I did that, we, we have all of our uh, water in like a water pitcher with a Brita filter. Um, so we have like filtered water and we have great tap water in Seattle. Uh, for a long time, I just drank out of the tap water because I didn't want to have to deal with the pitcher. Um, and that was fine. Like we have good tap water here, um, which I'm happy about because where my parents used to live in Las Vegas, uh, sometimes you turn on the tap and just the water's brown, which is crazy. Um, but you know, um, a lot of that is like rust. I think it's fine. Like, of course you don't want to be drinking brown water, but I, I actually don't think it's that. Don't quote me on this. I actually don't think it's that bad, but don't, don't, I don't, I don't know how true that is. It might be bad. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, my parents were drinking out of a Brita filter in Las Vegas and it just kind of carried over here. So not only do we have a good tap water, but we have good filtered tap water through a Brita filter. Um, but anyway, so, uh, as I've gotten older, the amount of chores I have to do around the house have increased because, you know, I'm not paying rent, right? So I, I have to, I have to, you know, like I, I am making money and I'm not paying rent and I'm an adult. So, you know, I, I have the ability to move out um, and I am deciding not to. So through doing that, I have to sort of repay, you know, what, what is owed by doing chores. And, you know, that's totally reasonable. Um, and so, you know, I empty the dishwasher and I take out the trash and, uh, you know, um, Thankfully, I don't have to do laundry. My dad does laundry, which is very, I am very thankful for. Um, of course, I do laundry for like my jeans. Like I uh, wash my jeans and I wash my shirts because I like them cleaned a certain way. Um, but you know, my, my dad, like what, like the jeans I wore to work today, like I put them in my hamper and my dad washes them and then he puts them in my closet and it's very nice and I appreciate that. But anyway, um, so I just decided to um, uh, replace the filter right so i tried, I tried to replace the filter in the um filter in the brita pitcher um and it was terrible because i looked we have this wine fridge like this wine cooler fridge and it's never plugged in we've just sort of used it as like a cabinet um and you know usually the brita filters are in this wine fridge so so i open it up and boy, they're not in there and i'm like that's irritating uh sometimes like my parents change where places are permanent, like where things go permanently. Uh, like I can't think of any immediate examples, but you know, sometimes a thing goes in one place and then, you know, my parents are like, Oh, because of like this and this and that, like usually valid reasons they have to move it to another place permanently. And that's like where the thing is. Um, and it's always bothersome for the first few times, uh, you have to interact with that, um, change because you know, you're not, you're not, you're not used to change. Uh, but you know, I, 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 repl I put the Brita filter, <laughs> so I'm looking for the Brita filter and it's not in there and I'm like, oh, right. I think maybe they're in my parents' room now. So I go into my parents' room and I look around and I can't find them. I'm like, okay, are they downstairs? And I look around, they're not there. So I text my parents about it. I'm like, Hey, just, just, you guys know, there's no Brita filter. And my mom was like, did you look in, did you look in our room? And I'm like, yeah. Um, and it just sucks. You know, I, I, I look back downstairs, I look around more and I'm just, I'm just like yelling to myself. I, I'm very bothered by this, and it, it's just very strange. Um, I feel like there's something wrong with me. I don't know. Uh, I, I really need to like, you know, I don't know. Like I go to therapy and stuff, and that's not normal. You know, I think therapy is great, and I think a lot of people would benefit from therapy. But like, you know, I, I feel like, and maybe this is just a bad thing that I think. Like this, maybe I'm just like. Um, Maybe this is just a sort of weird bias I have, like a weird, like internal, like negative thing that is in my brain. But I think it's kind of weird to go to therapy. Um, and maybe I'm just inclined to like sort of rag on myself like that. Um, but you know, that's weird, right? And I'm like a weird person. And you know, I, I go to school and I went to like these weird classes and it's like, there you know, there's something up, right? And you know, I don't really like, I don't really know what that is. And so it just sucks because I, you know, I'm dealing with these things in my life and I'm dealing with them in, in ways that a normal person wouldn't. And that bothers me because it makes me feel like a stupid person. Um, and so it's just like, you know, like, like, I don't know, like, uh, you know, um, it, it's, it just sucks, you know, it just, it just sucks. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that it hasn't really manifested in my life in a negative way. Um, 
like a lot of the time uh like it bear like like whatever whatever's up hasn't like negatively affected me in a lot of ways which is great um but it, it's just strange because like i don't know how long that's gonna go on for like I, I worry that at some point i'm gonna hit a wall and like like i'm gonna be unable to do something and it's gonna like mess something up or something you know I, it's just a thing i'm worried about um and uh you know, I, I just worry that it's not, um, I just worry that there's something really wrong and I, I don't know what it is, you know. And it's strange, you know, I, I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, what's, what's happening? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm supposed to be doing homework right now. Um, but instead I'm just making a weird, like, rambling video. Um, I did some stuff on loops. Uh, check this out. I can show you guys this. Um, one sec, actually. I'm gonna... Uh, okay, so this is in my downloads directory because whenever I'm doing something that's, like, kind of temporary, I, I just put it in my downloads because it automatically gets deleted every now and then. So if I'm... I could just have it in the temp directory, like that stupid, uh, GPT, like, 01... Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, there is this, uh, when they were doing, like, an advertisement for GPT-01, uh, they had everything in the slash temp folder, which was very strange. I may be misremembering that, but look, I made this little script where if you type in one, it does, it does the Fibonacci sequence. I'm learning about loops in Python, um, and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just doing the Fibonacci sequence, and it kind of goes on forever, which is fun. Um, you can also make it just go until it hits a million, which is, yeah, like, it would have stopped now, I think. Um, but, um, what am I saying? Yeah, so I'm learning about loops in Python for my class, and I was like, oh, you can do, like, a Fibonacci thing with this, and I did, which is very cool. Um, yeah, and if I want, um, this is my script, by the way. It's probably not very well made. I could do 0 0.1 for the time. And then it goes a lot faster. Yeah. And it's cool because it kind of just, I don't know. I think it, I think things that go on forever are cool just inherently. And I, I just find this very interesting and entertaining. Um, And also, you can do other numbers too. So typically, the Fibonacci sequence starts with a, uh, one plus one, but you could do like like ninety five, and then it starts from from ninety five. Um, you can also do floats, but floats are a little weird. Uh, like instead of having the input work as an integer, you can have it work as a float, and then it works as floats. But um, floats are stupid, and you know integers are awesome. <laughs> Anyway, or you could do like, like a million. Like you could just start out with a million. Oh, that's just the same number with zeros at the end. So like, there we go. Oh, my parents are home, okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. For breakfast, I had a breakfast sandwich. For lunch, I had some beans and meat. And for dinner, uh, I had a pizza that I cooked myself.